covered here. So we've had the uh, windshield on low for a while now. It's clear the glass. And uh, we also have the defrost lever pulled out. The ECS on high and the heat turned up to the two o'clock on the rotary knob. And all that is co contributing to a robust amount of warm air, even hot air coming out of here, which is clearing the windows along with the the electric de-ice in the windshield here. Uh, but what I wanted to talk to you about is uh, planning a descent. Very simply, without using all of the features, but giving us exactly what we need with the least amount of work. And by that, what I mean is, let's go to flight plan, let's find the destination, and choose to be zero feet AGL above that destination. And now we know the elevation is 5102. Of course, we knew that before because it's in the cabin pressure box. Oh, sorry, American, 1976, uh, three, But that's about it. So then if you get a pilot's discretion descent, which includes a crossing restriction, you could set that altitude, whatever you're told to descend to, arm the VNAV, and simply wait until the vertical speed required began to populate, choose which rate you wanted to go down at, and then activate the VNAV. In the G3000, it won't be in vertical speed in here, it's, it's in degrees. And 2.2 .2 is pre a preset for us, that will give us about a thousand feet a minute. Although you can go faster, the auto throttle will carefully reduce the power to give you this, the rate of descent you want without going over this, the airspeed you want. But if the power's too low, of course, you get the check gear enunciator. So it's a, a bit of a, a trade off in that regard. And Piper, if you're listening, Direct uh, Airport, recommend that you back that gear, check gear annunciator off to something under 300 pounds. It's coming on way too early. Just an idea. Dick Rochford, fly safely. Train off.